Hi Year One, and welcome to episode six of our home learning video. Today we're going to be looking at coordination and health related fitness. I know it sounds super fun. And involving in that is going to be a cheerleading workout or routine and a hip workout. Super fun, look forward to seeing you soon. Today we're going to be looking at a hit workout. And in order to get us prepared for the hit workout, we're going to do a warm up to get our body nice and ready. So we're going to do some stretches to mobilize our joints. We're going to do a warm up, a nice pulse raise to get us ready. And then we're going to do some stretches from head to toe. Look forward to seeing you soon. First of all, we're going to start off by mobilizing our joints, getting our joints ready for the activities we're going to be involved in. And to start off, we're just going to copy me and do exactly what I do. Good luck. So, just put my foot out, just rotating it, just doing circular motion. My standing leg. Well done. Just loosening up those joints, getting us prepared, and changing it. Well done. This time we're going to open the gate. So knees going up and out. A little step in between knee up and out. Well done. Is it easy or is it quite tricky? And because we've got good manners, we're going to close the gate. So we're starting out and then in. So knee out and then in. Well done. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Brilliant stuff. One more there. Now we're going to look at circular motion of our hips. So nice and slow. Go around one way and change of direction. Brilliant stuff. Now we're just going to roll our shoulders. Nice and slow forward. And back. This time we're going to do small circles with our hands. Ready? Arms nice and straight, small circles. And bigger, slightly bigger. And as big as we can. Oh, done. And can we go backwards? Brilliant stuff. Now we're going to move on to our neck. So we're going to move to, up. Well, we'll look over to one side. Just lean our ear on our shoulder. Nice and slow for this one, nice and controlled. And move over to the other side. And up. And down. One more time and up. And down. Well done, we've mobilised our joints. Now we're looking at our pulse razor, which is just down the bottom here. And for our pulse raiser, we're going to be jogging on the spot and doing jumping jacks. Now, the reason behind this pulse raiser, we want to get our heart pumping even faster, get us ready for the activity and our hip workout. Get blood pump around our body fast, get us ready. So, ready, jogging on the spot. Follow me. Keep going, you might go a little bit faster. We have another five more seconds. Two, one. Now we're going into jumping jacks. Good job. It's like a star, isn't it? And back in. And brilliant. And hold it there. Can you can you put your hand on your heart? Just on, just on this side of your chest. Can you feel your heart beating a bit faster? Can you show me with your opposite hand? Mine's beating quite fast. So now we're going to move on to stretches. Now for our mobilising joints, when we're mobilising our joints, we were doing dynamic stretches. Now we're going to look at static stretches. Stretches where we are holding them for a long period of time. So we're going to start from our head. So again, we're going to look over to one side. And we're going to hold for eight to 10 seconds, nice and slow. And looking over to the other side. Well done. And up. And down. 
This time we're going to put our arm across our, our chest and our other arm's going underneath. Underneath our elbow. So whilst we're doing it, we're slowly trying to pull our arm towards our chest. Not too much. Well done. We're just holding that in place. And shake it off like jelly on a plate. Then your other arm back across your body and your arm underneath your elbow. Good job. Next one, we're going to move our hips again, but we're going to do it at a slower pace. So let's go forward and back and back into the middle. Now to the side, the other side, and back into the middle. One more time, ready? Back and forward and back into the middle. And side to the other side, and back into the middle. Brilliant stuff. Now this time, we're going to have our legs shoulder width apart. We're going to breathe in, nice deep breath. As we're breathing in, we're going to try and touch the floor, but keeping our legs nice and straight. So nice and slow, ready? And we're trying to hold it. If you can't touch the floor, that's not a problem. I cannot get anywhere near the floor. Keep your legs nice and straight. You should be able to feel it in the back of your legs. And back up. One more time, nice deep breath. In through your nose. As you're going down, you're going to breathe out of your mouth. I wonder if you can get any closer to the floor. So we're not bouncing, we're just holding that position. And then this time we're going to go on the floor. Going to put our, the sole of our feet together, our elbows just on the inside of our knees, and we're just putting a little bit of pressure, just lowering it just slightly. And you should be able to feel this on the inside of your legs. Nice flat feet, hands around your ankles, elbows just leaning on the inside of your how long do we hold a stretch for? That's right, eight to 10 seconds. Around that time, brilliant. Back up, last one. So this time we're gonna bend our, our left knee, so bend our leg, and our other leg's gonna stay super straight, but it's going to be pointing to the sky. So one knee is nice and bent, the other knee is going to be straight, and your toes are pointing to the sky. Just holding it in place. If you wobble a little bit, it doesn't matter. And changing legs. Well done. I think we're ready for our hip workout. Now moving on to the main part of our fitness session, we're going to be looking at a hip workout. A HIIT workout is also known as a high intensity interval training workout. Now we're going to be looking at working on different muscle groups and this is perfect for allowing us to build muscle as well as having enough rest to give it everything you've got during that workout. So I'm going to go through one by one each exercise that we're going to do and then we're all going to have ample opportunity to do it with me. So we're going to do it as a team. We're going to have 30 seconds to be involved in the exercise and 30 seconds to have a recovery. And during that recovery, you can either get a drink, and once you've got a drink, I'd highly re recommend you have it next to you. I'm going to be explaining the next exercise we're going to do. Right, so the first exercise is a mountain climber. Now for a mountain climber, you're going to go hands and feet on the floor, almost in a press up position. And as you are there, you're bringing your one foot up at a time, as quickly as you can, so nice and high. So you're doing it in one motion, almost like you're running on the floor. The second one is a crunch or sit-ups. So for this one, it's working on your belly, and you're going to be laying on the floor, knees on the floor, feet on the floor, and you can either, depending on your level of ability and how much you've done this before, you have to lift up and just try and raise your hands above your knees, and slowly, not all the way back down, 
Now a plank. We're going to do a different variation of a plank. We're going to go again in a press up position, but this time, when you're in your press up position with your back nice and straight, you're going to touch your shoulder. So you're going to take it in turn, take it nice and slow to touch your shoulder. Moving on to a burpee. Now burpee is almost a combination of different exercises. For this one, you're going to again go on the floor in a press up position, back nice and straight. You're going to tuck both knees into your chest, then you're going to jump. That's one burpee. So if you do it all together, amazing, right? And the last one is leg drops. This one, you're going to lay on the floor, on your back. And your legs are going to start super high. Head on the floor as well. And one at a time, you're going to drop your leg and bring it back up and change your legs. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Now, I can't straighten my legs as good as I know you can. Brilliant, let's get started. Right, Mr. Moore, are you ready for the hit workout? I'm ready. Okay, we're gonna start in 10 seconds. So if you wanna get yourselves ready. Good luck. Coming up. Nearly there. And rest. 
Good job. Again, make sure you're getting lots of drink. Last one, leg drops. Gonna be working on our belly, our abdominals, our muscles on our belly. Let's go. Halfway. Challenging yourself. Well done for completing the hip workout. Give yourself a round of applause. Brilliant. After a hard hip workout, very important to help with our recovery, we do some stretches. Loosens up our muscles, supports our recovery, and makes us super, super strong. So we're going to start from head to toe, and we're going to do some static stretches. And that stretches again, like before, we're going to hold them for a long period of time. Again, arm across our body, under our arm. Arm under our elbow, holding it for how long? That's okay, yeah, eight to 10 seconds. And a quick shake, and back across our body. Now, I've got a little bit of a challenge for you. Because we've been focusing on our arms, our legs, big muscle groups in our body, or your, your legs going to cross over, Nice and straight legs, nice deep breath in. And you're slowly rolling your hands down your leg and see how close you can get to your toes. If you can touch your toes, brilliant. If not, let's see how close you can get. Please don't bounce, just hold that position. And change legs. Ooh, quite tricky, so balance, isn't it? Nice deep breath in. Well done, I'm going to do one more stretch on this side. Knee on the floor. And your other leg is going slightly further forward. It's almost like a square. So this time you're going to keep your back nice and straight and you're just going to lean forward. Your back nice and straight, leaning forward. Apply a little bit of pressure to, your, to the leg that you're moving on to. Brilliant stuff and change over. I think that was my knee. Again, back nice and straight. Toe pointing forward. And last but not least, shake that jelly on a plate. Brilliant stuff. So as part of our PE lessons this term, we would be looking at coordination. And one of the best ways to get coordinated is to give you a routine that you have to try and remember and to move your body into different sections. So we're going to concentrate this term on cheerleading, which is going to be a great idea because you're going to need to learn lots of different activities and then you're going to need to link them, which is really great for our national curriculum. So we're going to get started with learning the cheerleading moves and then at the end we're going to create a routine that you guys can try and remember and repeat over and over again. So, good luck. So in cheerleading, there's a certain couple of things that we're gonna to need to really think about today. Our moves need to be really sharp, and that means that they need to be precise and controlled. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to know is all our moves, apart from the clasp, is going to have clenched fists. Now, where we hold that on our body actually is called something different, but all we need to know for our first lesson is that they're going to be clenched. So show me your clenched fists. Well done. Now the first move is gonna be the easy stance and this is the one where we're gonna have our arms by our side. You can see my arms are nice and straight, my head is up, my feet are together. And this is our first stance. And this is what we would come to and from. So this is the beginning 
and the end of any routine that we're going to learn, okay? So, let's get on and look at the other moves. From our starting position, we are going to try and do a clasp. So, we're in our starting position and then we're going to bring our arms up and we're going to clap our hands together. But the clasp is where our hands are wrapped round. So, from here, you'll notice my elbows aren't coming out. They're staying nice and tucked into my side and I'm coming up and I'm clasping my hands together. So I get that nice effect, which is great in the hall because it rebounds. So we do that again, you ready? Have a go with me. Brilliant, well done. So the next move we're gonna look at is called a high V. Now a V shape is when it does this in the air which means that our arms are going to do that in the air. So it's going to come up into a V. And this is our high V. Now I might have my legs out, or I might have my legs in, depending on what we're going to be doing next. So the high V starts from this position. It can either go from here, or it can go up. But remember, straight arms make that V super strong. Keep those hands clenched together and keep your head up. So let's have a go at that again, you ready? One, two, three, out. Great, let's try it with the other version. One, two, three, out. Lovely, and back in. Great work. So we've got a low V next, which is exactly like the high V, but obviously it's gonna go down like this. So it's gonna be a triangle down. So this is the top of the V, and my arm's gonna be the extension. So, from my starting position, that would look like this. I've also made that V with my legs as well in this position as well. So look, my arms are nice and straight, my chin is up, my back is up, I'm nice and strong in my movement, and I come back to my starting position. If I was to do that with my feet together, my hands would just go out. Now you'll notice they're coming slightly in front of my body, and they're just moving forward. My body is straight, my arms are out, and I am keeping that strong composure. So let's have a go together, you ready? And out. Lovely, and back in. Or without your feet this time, and out. In. Nice work. So the next move is a bow and arrow. And the idea is that I'm gonna have my bow in one hand and my arrow is gonna be pulled across. And you'll notice that I'm trying to keep my arms completely flat. So it's a nice straight line across my body. I've got my tensed hands, so they're fists are together. If it was to go the other side, then my bow would be this side. I'd get my fists, I'd draw the arrow back and it would be here. So this is what is a bow and arrow. Now the bow and arrow, when you're going from your starting position, will go in. And you'll notice I've jumped my elbow out, my arms up nice and straight, my hands are clenched. If I was to go the other way, and in. And the idea is that I'm keeping nice and strong when I create those moves. You might even try and move your bow and arrow from one side to the other. And it is literally moving it across your body. Well done. So this move is the L. Once again, our arms are gonna be making the shape of that letter, but we can either do it to our right or to our left, depending on how we want to do it. So to make an L, one arm is going to come out and it's gonna be that nice straight edge. And yet, you're right, the other one is gonna go up into the air and it's gonna keep those arms nice and straight. If we were to transfer it to the other side, that L would move into that high V and then over to the other side. So. If I was going from my starting position into an L shape, I would go up. Back to my starting position, back up. So the idea is I'm keeping my body nice and strong. Remember, we were looking at keeping that precision and keeping that strength through our arms and out through our body. And the way we do that is by clenching our fists and holding ourselves nice and tight. So that's the L shape. Should we have one more go? Are you ready? We're gonna go that way first. Three, two, one. Lovely, well done. And back down. 
Let's go the other way. Three, two, one. Lovely, back down. Great work. Now this move is the T, and the idea is it's going to do exactly like the L does or the V does. It's going to create that shape with our body. So what do you think we're going to need to do with our arms? You're right, we're going to need to put them out so that we look like a T. Now once again, are my arms going to be droopy? Are they going to be up high? Well, this reminds me of another move. That's it, that was the high V, and we're not doing the high V, we're doing the T. So it's got to come out and be nice and flat. Okay, so this is basically your big T. If we were to look at this as a half T, our arms are gonna come into our chest and we're gonna hold it here. So our elbow's gonna be down and we're gonna keep our nice long line across our body. But this is a half T. So a full T, half T. Should we have a go, are you ready? We're gonna go into a full T. Three, two, one. Lovely, go into a half T from here. Three, two, one. Brilliant work, well done. Right, I hope you're ready to start your sequence. So, we're not gonna concentrate on our legs at this point, we're just gonna use our arms. So we're gonna be doing all of the upper body parts to this routine. So, here's how it's gonna start. We're gonna get ourselves into our ready position. From your ready position, you're going to go to a clasp. From your clasp, we're going to go to a high V. Remember keeping your body nice and tense. From the high V, you're going to bring your arms round in front of you and bring them down into a low V. From your low V, we're going to go into a bow and arrow, one way. Swap to the other side. We're going to then pull this arm up into our L. Switch our L's. Come back into our T. Half T, we're going to do what's called daggers, which is something we haven't learned yet, and then we're going to come down. So then we go back to the start. So from the start, we go clasp, high V, low V, bow and arrow, bow and arrow, L, L, large T, Half T, daggers, down. Okay, so we're going to do that again. You ready? So we go from the start. In our ready position, clasp, high V, low V, bow and arrow, bow and arrow, L, L, large T, half T, daggers, down. We're going to put that to some music. Are you ready? Okay, so like we did in the row, we're going to do this to the beat as much as we can. Don't worry if you go wrong. Remember we're showing zest, so we're just going to give it a go and we're going to have a try and it might mean that you need to rewind. So are you ready? From our start position, we go into our class. High B, low B, bow and arrow, bow and arrow, L,
Well, should we go again? You ready? From the top of that speed. Five, six, seven, eight. B. Bow and arrow. L. T. Half T. Daggers. Down again. Good. You're looking great, guys. Good. Yes. Well done! That was absolutely amazing. Did you enjoy it? I bet you did. Brilliant! Now, if you've got any videos, please, please, please send them in. Because me, Mr. Shocks, and Miss Bowyer really want to see what you've done. Just do that via sending them in to your class teacher. Now, look forward to seeing you in episode 7. And if you want to continue and have another practice of these activities, just rewind. Have fun, stay safe, and see you soon. Yeah.